Welcome to Key to Ease English program. Today I am here with class 8 Shipwrecked Sailor last part. This part is dealing with the grammar area. So be with me and listen to it and we can attempt these activities and we can continue learning the rem remaining part and we'll go to the poetry part of the textbook. Okay. Activity 1. Activity 1 here. Okay. Look at the sentence taken from the story. A rough wave pushed the rafts. It was heavy in the lurching sea. A gigantic wave lifted the raft. His serenity was stronger than the sea. The words underlined, these are the words underlined or in bold letters, rough, heavy, gigantic and stronger. In, the, in, the, in these sentences, describe the noun. Here we have studied noun in the first unit. A rough wave, it is describing the wave, right? A very heavy, it was a very heavy in that lurching sea. A gigantic wave, gigantic is describing wave. These words belong to the word class called adjectives so we studied a rough heavy gigantic and stronger are adjectives adjectives have three degrees of comparison your textbook is telling in the sentence his serenity was strong the word strong is the positive degree here it is, positive degree. In the sentence, his serenity was stronger than the sea. Here it is comparing with the sea. So, stronger is comparative degree. In these sentences, his serenity was strongest. The strongest is the superlative degree. So, we got three terms that is positive degree, comparative degree and superlative degree. And what is it? Let's do an example and just identify this one. Here you can see, now look at the following chart and complete the sentence below using the suitable degrees of the adjectives tall. tall is the word we use. Here, A is tall. Right? C is taller than A. Can we say that one? C is taller than. So we can write here, what? Here we can type, A is, is tall. Can we say that one? It is tall. If you are not considering these two, if you are not considering these two, this A is tall. And here C is taller than what taller than A taller than A but B this one B is the tallest the tallest of the group tallest of them so we got tall taller and tallest more clarity on this one shall we go back to a presentation here i'll just show you that one once again we are just listening degrees of comparison first one is positive one Let's see what is. Degrees of comparisons are used when we describe a person or a thing. When we describe a person 
ഒരു വ്യക്തിയെയോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എ തിങ് ഇഫ് യു കമ്പാരിങ് വി ആർ യൂസിങ് ദീസ് ഡിഗ്രീസ് ഓഫ് കമ്പാരിസൺ adjectives make the comparisons remember adjectives are describing words we have explained it example positive degree fast slow big small these all are adjectives and they are in positive degree positive comparisons this is used for when we only describe one person or thing this is very important we are using positive degree when we are use comparing when we are telling about one person or one thing right we cannot you compare with two and say this positive degree positive degree is possible only for one thing about a boy about a girl about a bus about a car like that a person or a thing example the house is big we are telling about only about this house only the house is big okay the big is positive degree example 2 the boy is fast on his bicycle the this boy is fast on his bicycle so fast is positive and it is comparing about himself only the girl is smart this girl is smart okay example the radio was loud here loud is positive so this is positive here we have used loud smart fast and big are as positive degrees of comparison okay now i am giving an activity for you write four sentences using the positive degree of comparison use the words on the board which which were the boards which were the words here are the words fast slow big and small use these three four adjectives in your own sentence positive degree so one activity is over we are passing on to next now we are passing on to comparative degree comparative degree comparative degree of adjectives comparative this is when we compare two people or things to each other in the positive degree we are comparing only one thing no comparison exactly here the comparison is done with two people or two things hope you are getting it rule add er to the adjective fast faster slow slower big bigger small smaller tall taller i am tall he is taller i am tall he is taller than me right the house is big but my house is bigger or we can say your house is big but my house is bigger so this is positive and this is comparative next the boy is fast on his bicycle but i am faster than him okay next the radio was loud but the tv was louder than that radio example painful more painful here always we are not using er at the end for adjectives which are ending with the full or e we are using more in front of it for example plain painful more painful is a positive comparative degree hopeful more hopeful beautiful more beautiful expensive more expensive 
because here e is ending word and here l is ending word and where there are adjectives which have ending words l or e we are using more so to comparative degree we are using either more or er at the end right good and there are some exceptions also comparative degree of good is better bad is worse many and much we are using more little and few less far farther further old older elder this is an exceptional cases keep it in your mind he is a good boy he is better than anup this girl is good but this girl is better than that girl there's a difference in comparative degree we are using better for good in comparative degree we are using worse for bad in comparative degree we are using more for many or much less for le few further for far and older for or elder for old so comparative degree is over right comparative degree is over next one is degrees of comparison superlative degree positive degree comparative degree and third one is superlative degree and what is superlative degree superlative degree of comparison used when comparing more than two people or things more than two people or things we are using this one rule add est to the adjective for example fast is the positive degree here it is faster is the comparative degree and fastest est is added it is a superlative degree slow slower slowest big bigger biggest small smaller smallest tall taller tallest these are the three degrees of comparison three degrees of adjectives we can say and here you can see the picture of three figures this is shortest when we are telling its size we are comparing with these two more than two and without considering these two we can say this is tall and we can say it is short no problem but this is this fellow is taller than and he is the tallest hope you understood it and here he was the fastest in the bicycle race he is the fastest and always you just think that one whenever we are using est form we are using the a definite article we are using we will study more about definite article and indefinite article in the uh, today itself the fastest she was the smartest the smartest girl in the class she got full lap plus and when comparing this girl with these these and these she is the smartest the biggest house on the block was for sale the biggest this is the biggest house it is for sale the slowest computer in the class belonged to miss brockway the slowest 
Superman was the strongest and the fastest of all superheroes, but Spider-Man was the most flexible. So this is also superlative degree. Without adding EST, like comparative degree, here we are using the most, the most. Painful, more painful, most painful. So like that. Hopeful, more hopeful, most hopeful. Beautiful, more hopeful. Beautiful, most beautiful. Flexible, more flexible, most flexible. Adjective ending in full or e, we use most. Adjectives ending in full or e, in comparative degree, we are using more. In superlative degree, we are using most. And of course, there are some exceptions for this rule also. Good, we know it is better, best. Bad, worse and worst. Many much more, most. Little few, less, least. So superlative degree of this thing also you have to keep in your mind. Now, here is a task for you. Identify the degree. The lion is a strong animal. What is the degree here? It is positive. Rochelle is the kindest of all. Kindest of all. Kindest is the superlative degree. The apple is sweeter than the pear. Here, sweeter is comparative degree. It's a tall building, again positive degree. Facilitator and the had the most wonderful birthday cake. Most wonderful is a superlative degree. So hope you understood what is superlative, comparative and positive degrees. So I'll give you a task. Now have a look at this activity too. Look at these sentences from the story. The ship plunged into an abyss and disappeared. Here the word the ship. Here the word ship. The ship uh, into an abyss. It was a perfectly clear day. This, the ship, is definitely telling about the ship which got wrecked in the sea. The ship. It is not any ship. It is a particular ship from started from Caldas. That ship, the ship, so we are calling it as a definite article, plunged into an abyss. There are a lot many abyss are there and in that one of the abyss, an abyss, not definite. So we are calling it as indefinite article. Two words we got, definite article and indefinite article. And there are two indefinite article, they are called A and N. So two indefinite articles, they are A and N. These two are the indefinite A and an. And only one definite article it is called the. So definite article is used only in front of what? A definite, definite area, definite thing which we referred earlier. And if we are using that thing first time or any, there is no definite thing, so we use it as A or N. From this A or N, there is another difference. A is used 
in front of all the consonant sound nouns what are consonant sound nouns for example i'll tell you a ball we can say ball because it starts with a consonant sound b and we can say a car we can say a car so here it is starting with a consonant sound and in the same time an is used in front of vowel sound not letters vowel sound an apple these things you might have studied in fifth or sixth or fourth standard but still i am repeating it an apple an orange o and sometime h will be silent an honest boy o h o n e s t honest here h is silent so we are using an in front of it these are the articles i think this will give you more clarity here fill in the following passage with a an or the i made a last try but here will be a a indefinite article a or an will come which will come here because only a will come because it is consonant sound l try so that rangi for could reach one or it was said that so we can so it is the here it will be the here and it will be a here but a raised hand here a but the raised hand raised hand is referred but the raised hand which a few minutes earlier had been trying to keep the headphone from sinking sank forever so this is the correct answer so now i am activity i am giving look read your textbook and find out more number of definite article and indefinite article and identify it okay now we are passing on to another activity very important activity that is activity 3 you have learned about noun phrase in the previous unit hope you remember you can develop a noun into a noun phrase by adding determiners determiners and determiners and adjectives before the head noun consider the head noun man how can you develop it into a noun phrase study the following word pair man the third article is added the man and here in between the and man an adjective is clubbed the young man next one more adjective you are having article happy young man two adjectives and an article this article we are calling it as determiner a an and the we are calling it as determiners what do we call determiners and this one we are calling it as adjectives and man is the now now complete the word pyramid given below picking up appropriate determiners and adjectives from the box and placing them in the correct position here is the word deep half half moon shaped a wound this is the noun exactly so we can use this determiner 
so we can write here right we can type here what we'll write a it will be capital letter right starting word a deep half moon shaped wound this is the noun phrase a deep half moon shaped it is h only half moon shaped wound this is a noun phrase now the task is given so first we will take a and deep is a second adjective and half moon shaped is a third adjective wound is the noun now construct a word pyramid using the word sea sailor and travel is a task let us think of this one sea what do things mean we can start with a deep lurching c will be correct because a is a definite article and article or determiner and deep and lurching are two adjectives used and c is a noun and sailor what will you write here a strong brave intelligent sailor we can do like this and now traveler is keeping for you traveler and what are words will you will complete the task now this is the word pyramid we are calling making a word pyramid is an easy task at the same time it be very interesting also the first thing the only words which come before noun is here determiner and adjectives and there are some other words also we can call it as quantifiers and all these things a two half moon shaped wound a two count is coming there okay hope you have enjoyed the last part the grammar part we have discussed three areas one is adjectives positive comparative and superlative degrees of adjectives and articles that is a and or the and and after that we have pass on to word pyramids in that one we have made use these adjectives and these articles and that word pyramid we call these articles as determiners so we have developed noun phrases with a determiner and multiple adjective two or three adjectives together and a noun and we are calling it as noun phrase and and uh, you can prepare more number of word pyramids with different different words and it will be helpful for us in the future so stay home and be safe thank you